Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. This has been a clip I've been wanting to do for quite some time. Um, and where to start, I think, would probably be uh, the most appropriate term I would probably use. It's been a real bumpy journey, let's put it that way, a real difficult one, an uphill kind of struggle uh, for the last couple of months. It really has been. Uh, 2024, it would be fair to say, hasn't particularly started off in the best way for me, but however, I'm a very, uh, I'm a very avid believer in that we must try to concentrate and appreciate the goodness in every situation as well. So I really do try to hold on to that. But as my subscribers will know, uh, certainly my family members and people close to me um, will know that health wise has been quite problematic. It has been quite problematic and it's been very distressing. It's been very up and down. Um, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. My channel is all about motivation in life. It's lifestyle clips. Uh, I bring most things in regards to uh, the fight and having the most amazing hair, whether it be thin, thinning, you name it. You've got a problem with your scalp or hair, particularly fine uh, hair, hair loss, that type of thing. I've got a huge passion for that. I love inspiring people. I love motivating people and really just lighting a light in a dark situation to think whatever you are going through that is okay but that will pass and it's okay to not be okay but the storm you're going through will pass i love to be able to raise inspiration on that to help people through things like that because ultimately i have gone through difficult times and i think it really does say a lot about somebody when they can actually sit in front of you and say, do you know what, I've had tough times, I've had rubbish times, but I've got through it, this is what I've learned, and let me share that with you. I'd love to do that today. But um, yeah, I'm going through a bit of a, a strange journey, which at the moment I can't quite see the light at the end of the tunnel, but there is one, I just haven't found it yet. Um, so I try to be positive all the time. My subscribers will know that I have uh, struggled with different health problems for a number of years. Um, a lot of those have been from surgeries. Um, I live with a, a hearing condition. Um, my balance problems go hand in hand with that. Um, I also have vertigo quite badly. Um, and unfortunately, Back in 2017, I had what should have been just a hernia operation. However, that absolutely wrecked my life and that resulted in four operations. Um, and unfortunately, since 2022, I have been managing uh, nighttime episodes, passing out episodes, seizures, um, and they were only kind of started it once every other month, perhaps a little bit more infrequent than that, started as nighttime issues, me kind of speaking in my sleep, um, waking up very distressed, waking up not being very aware, having problems speaking, having problems composing my thoughts and everything together and what I was, my awareness. Um, and of course I live in the family home, it's really stopped me going on to do a lot of things, but it certainly doesn't define me. Unfortunately, throughout, it's, I think it started the latter part of 22, but I think there's evidence to say that in my life it's been earlier than that. Um, I had a uh, major surgery, I uh, had my groin reconstructed and I had another hernia repair uh, back in May 21. In my recovery days later, I lost my nan, who was my absolute world. Um, very, very tragically, very tragically, and still to this day, I struggle. She is always with me. She is with me up above. She is with me always. But when you love somebody so much and they're long, no longer with you, you struggle. So on top of that operation, there was a bad, there was a window, I don't know, and then I started to develop whatever this was, and it's got progressively worse. Um, 
and now seizures passing out episodes these kind of issues as well as problems with my chest taking my breath away um I'm under a heart specialist as well at the moment with things um so there's a lot going on. I'm under the care of a neurologist. I'm having regular appointments with that. I'm having some assessments and things. I've had a brainwave assessment. I've had brain scans. Um, I've had many doctor's appointments, as you can tell. Um, and I've had all sorts of appointments. In fact, I've got to keep them all written down in a diary where it gets quite stressful. So things have progressively got worse. Stress has progressively got more. And of course, anybody will tell you that if you're more stressed out in your life, um, then it can exacerbate lots. We talk about this on my channel a lot in terms of motivating, uh, helping mot with motivation and inspiration in life, and that actually do not enjoy the here and now. Don't stress, don't... I talk so much about that, and I'm very good, I think, as an advocate for talking about it, but yet I'm not necessarily that good at it at times myself. I will always be very open and honest. I have to be honest that it is difficult. It is difficult. I find myself, I'm 30 years of age, um, all of it started with the hernia operations, um, and it got to the point a lot of people know i have done, I, I can't remember how many clips I've done, but I've done a series on my channel, it's called Hernia Nightmare, and um, it was, and I had, had to have bladder surgery where I had damage from that as well, um, so there's been a, a lot go on. Um, and I would say, yes, it has an impact on your mental health, yes, it has an impact on your well-being, and of course your physical health as well. Um, I've had quite a few unfortunate episodes of ending up in A&E with falls. Um, quite a few of the episodes of the, the passing out or... I hate to use the word seizure. I'm waiting for a diagnosis. I'm not sure if I want to say what they're potentially looking into. I, in fact, I will. Let's be open and honest, because what I love about my channel is that there are so many incredible people which reach out. And sometimes I can upload a clip and I can get several views. All I value every single view. Every single second somebody clicks on a video of mine, I, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you sincerely. Sometimes I can upload a clip and I'll get a couple of views. Sometimes I'll upload, I'll get eight views. Sometimes I can upload and there will be thousands. But you know, across the board, I've just got over 2,000 subscribers now. Every single one, I absolutely am so grateful. I am truly, truly humbled that somebody would want to subscribe to me. And I'm just so taken aback and I'm so grateful because this is a platform where, yes, I share knowledge of what's going on in my life, but also going through those storms of what I've gone through whether it be personal life, whether it be work, whether it be difficult moments, whether it be challenges, whether it be uh, career, whether it be hair loss, whether it be how you feel about yourself, motivation, all of those things, whatever it is, I, I always try to be 100% open, honest, which I always am, but I always try to give you a bit of me. So for example, I always find for someone to be helpful, we all know you can click on any clip on YouTube and, and for example, if it's hair loss, they can say this product works, this product, you need to buy this and then scroll down and there's a voucher code in the description or anything like that. There is none of that. There is none of that because I think you have to be true and honest with people. And you know what? Some people get you, some people don't. That's absolutely fine. The difference is with me, I will always, even if you throw a nasty comment at me, I will respect the fact that actually, do you know what? Perhaps you're going through something. It's not nice to be unkind. It's not nice to be nasty and unnecessary and malicious. But you know what? That person could be going through something and I could not knowingly have said something which potentially wound that person up or caught that person off guard and they're hurting. So I always try to find a reasoning. I always try to. Because at the end of the day, I always say this, that we have one life. Why wouldn't you want to spend it by spreading goodness and kindness and positivity? So my channel is all very, very real. Um, it's all things I've gone through, things that have uh, motivated me, things which have inspired me, things which I have learned. I'm 30, so yes, I'm still young, but like I seen something on YouTube the other day, um, I'm old enough to look back on my life so far, and I'm young enough to look forward. Um, faith is a huge, huge guidance for me. Uh, it truly, truly is. Um, my family are, my parents are best friends to me, my dear Nan, who is always with me, um, 
yeah. So it's been difficult. It's been difficult to say to say at least. Um, and yeah, so I, and I think the whole reason why I'm doing this is because I often say on my, my clip when I'm reviewing things or, or one thing or another, um, or when I'm replying back to my comments, it's been taking me a bit longer. And the clips which are coming up on the channel now, they are, have been recorded a few weeks ago, because um, unfortunately I've had quite a few episodes of seizures lately and falls in one thing or another. And unfortunately, uh, I recently had a fall in my family home in the kitchen and I fell and I... And potentially, I'm, I'm, I'm being treated for a suspected hip fracture. So there is um, a lot going on. And I've got real problems of getting around at the moment. And um, pain relief medications and one thing or another. And yeah, and I mean, not feeling great. So it's all of those things. And people might think, well, why are you sharing all of this? Why not keep something back? Well, I think for people to be in tune with you and for people to be able to really, truly hear you, not from here, but from here, you have to be honest. And I love my channel with all of my heart as a platform, a virtual diary almost, that where I can come, I can speak to people, I can raise things which people potentially wouldn't feel comfortable enough talking about. Um, for example, most men think, let's be honest, most men think, um, I can't talk about my feelings. I can't talk about what I'm going through. Do you know what? I'm, I'm absolutely that sometimes as well. I like to be the strong person who supports my brothers, who is that strong character and can deal with absolutely everything and anything. But you're not know, here, it's almost like I could take the jacket off, I can drop the formal items, and I can be me, and I can talk, and I can express, and I can, through that, through my own sort of storms, through my own sort of pain, through my own battles and building blocks in life and getting there, I can motivate, I can inspire. Um, and if even one person finds that helpful, then I'm, I feel I've done my job, I've succeeded. Um, and it's just a passion of mine. I love to help people. Um, and yeah, so this is all about, there are things going on. Um, certainly doesn't define me. Yes, it stopped me. And as a lot of people will know, um, one of my passions is travel. And I absolutely love to travel. Um, unfortunately, for the summer at the moment, that's kind of not happening. Um, the one thing I can keep advising and keep working on is hair loss, hair thinning. You know, my friends, that I have a series of products, my go-to products, which I absolutely love and adore and use for hair loss. You'll know that whenever I get stressed, I lose a lot of hair, particularly this side here. I've got an area at the moment which is concerning me here and just behind here. This looks a lot of hair, but it's not. I will be honest, it's not. I'm not having a haircut at the sides at the moment because I'm finding it very, very difficult to get about and I can't sit in the chair long enough to have it done um and of course whilst all these investigations are going on it does impact your life i mean for example i'm not allowed to go out by myself at the moment under the instruction of my neurologist um i have to be careful with everything you can well imagine we could talk we could talk for hours for this but the one thing i can do is i can appreciate the goodness in my life I have an amazing, amazing family. I have incredible parents. My dear Nan is up above. She is my Nan for all eternity. She may not be here to give me a hug, but she is with me always, and she will always be my Nan. I have incredible family. I have an incredible support network. I have a good job. I've worked hard. I'm in a position where I feel very privileged. There is always goodness. There is always light in the darkest of times. Now, we can't always see that, and believe you me, I'm saying this right now, but there are days where I could just sit and scream or cry and I've done the latter let's put it that way and faith for me is a huge huge it's a guidance it's a comfort and I'm trying to I'm trying to put it in a way which for me it's almost like it's it's the constant it's the guidance the love which faith and the Lord brings into our life I'll be honest with you, last couple of days, um, what are we on with? Thursday. Um, I've been feeling really down and last weekend and Sunday evening, Monday, I was really, really not feeling myself. And in my mind, um, I always, in my prayers, I always thank the Lord for the path he's blessed me with. But our thoughts and our mind 
can sometimes stray us off into horrible things and horrible thoughts. And I, I was there, those, that couple of, those couple of days I was there, and I just didn't feel me. I certainly didn't feel me, and it was awful. And I, had a, I, I didn't sleep, and I really was just in a position where I was uncomfortable, I was in a lot of pain, I was stressing and worrying about my life going forward. Um, and my mind was just doing all of these things, and I, it, was, it just was not me. It was almost like it was a different person, um, but yet I was consciously aware of that. Um, and you know what, it was until those days passed and then I put my hands together and at night and on my own, in my own space, and I put my hands together and I just started very, very slowly and just took a few deep breaths and I put my hands together and I, I prayed and just the clarity, almost like that you'd opened the door for me and that those those kind of bounds almost released and it's like that I can f breathe and it's almost like I can smile even though everything is not great I can smile and I can feel like me that actually thanking the Lord that the life that you blessed me with and in my thoughts it feels like that I've fallen off that road and I've fallen into a pit Lord and it's and it's me asking for please help me please show me the way and you know what? Sometimes people will think, you know what? It's about, it's about, it's it's not about being a saint. It's about that relationship with the Lord, with Jesus. And it's that, do you know what? If you want to scream, if you want to shout, do it. Speak to the Lord. He wants, he wants those questions. He wants that from us. And I think it's from those broken elements, those hurt elements, and I think where I've read, I can't remember from somewhere, is beautiful things happen from that. And it's just then, as the saying goes, doesn't it? You give it to God and go to sleep. And then I fall off to sleep and then I wake up in the morning and I feel empowered. I feel refreshed. I feel, you know, I can do anything. So that's where, that's where I am. Um, and on that note, I think that brings us to an end. So I've got an x-ray tomorrow for my hip. Um, next week, I'm seeing the doctor. Um, seeing the neurologist, I've got a heart scan coming up and I have got a cardiology appointment. So lots coming up, um, but I'm still here. i am got lots to bring. Um, we will be talking about uh, motivation. That's a, a bit on the back burner at the moment because I haven't been able to find inspirational motivation at the moment, but there are lots of things which we're reviewing. I've been training myself with all different kind of um, hair products in different methods like you know the inversion method where you lean over to the sink and you massage your scalp and that with with like a rosemary oil i've been uh, looking at as well um and a few other things i've been looking at for hair which we will bring to the channel really really soon so lots to talk about lots to review skincare as well of course all the things i can do and i can sit here and smile and you wouldn't know i'm going through it which i love because at the end of the day i always truly think that even though we're going through something, we we can always we can always help others. We can always be considerate. We can always care. We can all we can always share. Do you know what I mean? So all of those great things, and that's me. So I hope you've enjoyed this clip. Actually, I don't know how you can say you can enjoy this clip when I've just shared all what I'm going through. But you know, what? I hope it's relatable. And if you want to ask me any questions, then please feel free. And yeah. As I say, always happy to talk. And if I can't get back to you right away, I will get back to you. Um, I recently took, after I, tragedy again, but when I lost my my boy Andy, my beautiful grey and white cat, um, I lost him tragically. Um, it was around, my, uh, it was around, around Mother's Day time, and it was on the Saturday. And we'd just come back from lunch with um, my mum. And that was the last time I seen my Andy. And... Um, I won't go into that because there's a clip on my channel uh, explaining all of that. It's not a moment that goes by I don't think about him and miss him. Um, there's one thing which just happened to me which I I haven't talked about, but a lot of people won't realise this, and I never realised this until I started having the seizures um, or episodes, whatever they're scientifically referred to. I've not got a full diagnosis at the moment, and I never said it. So... They're looking at a potential diagnosis of like a late onset uh, epilepsy with me. I don't know how I feel about that. It's, it certainly wouldn't change. It wouldn't define me. Um, 
I'd have to change aspects of my life, absolutely, but I'm not there yet. But it's just, it's been mentioned, tested. So hopefully it's not somewhere I have to go, but I will deal with, of course, what I have to do with what is put in my, in my path. Um, but the thing which really stresses me out sometimes and gives me very low mood is uh, the, the, the mind fog, the cloudiness. Um, and I do find that my memory is a little bit affected after for sometimes several days afterwards. And I can get quite tongue tied for a few days afterwards as well. Um, and my subscribers will know I am I'm quite a wordy person. Um, and that's really hard. And a couple of times I can be speaking in my channels, on my on my clips, sorry, uh, for the channel lately, and um, I've been able to hide it, but the train of thought's gone, and I've been quite mixed up, um, but I've been able to get through it. It's like it's not affected my work or anything, but it does worry me. It does, um, it does really stress me out a lot. And just as I went to say something then, I thought I would just say this, because it's just happened, and I lost my train of thought. And, uh, yeah weird, horrible, strange. Um, so forgive me for that. So I think I was going to say something, but I can't quite remember what I was going to say. Um, but I think we've covered a lot and perhaps that's why it happened because it was a bit much. But um, it's really just to put that out there, just to give you an update of what, what's happening with me at the moment. Um, as I say, I recently took a several week break, but it wasn't kind of noticed on my channel because I'd had clips already recorded. So I just uploaded them so there wasn't a gap in between. Um, but whether or not I will be taking a break soon, I'm not quite sure, um, potentially, but I will be back. It won't be anything permanent, uh, but, but there we go. And I think that's, and I think that's where I, I want to leave it on a positive note, but I think like I was just come back to me, what I was going to say is that, um, when I said, I hope you've enjoyed this clip, not that I hope you've enjoyed it, but I hope that you can relate. And I hope you feel the trueness and I hope you feel um, that even though we've not met, that you can relate to me. Um, so if you do want to ask any questions or if you want to ask my view or if you want to even leave me just any comment at all about anything, then please do so down below. And um, it's always such a privilege to receive comments. And I've got so many comments I haven't replied back to yet. Um, but as the channel is slowly growing, um, it's getting quite hard to keep on top of all my comments. So forgive me, but I will get back to you. It may take me a little bit longer, but I absolutely will get back to you. Um, and on that note, God bless you. Thank you very much for being here. Um, and yeah, absolutely. So on that note, take care of yourself. Thank you very much for being here. And until next time, uh, we will be seeing you then. Bye now.